everyone's hair. Oh, yeah. I love this game, unironically, so. Same. Oh, God. Oh, Donkey Kong Country, awesome. Oh. Oh, here it goes. Good job. All right, come for the work. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, right now, loud. That's great. Yeah, so apparently they're up to intruder excluder now. Take it off? We're uh, getting we're lunch, lunch. Eva. Oh. Uh, Alright, the virtual tournament's in two and the sign-up's like in the next room. I signed up for fun because there's like five people. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. Look at those fingers flying. Okay, and this is what they're playing. <laughs> oh, oh, the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. Oh, God, the pain. God. So, guys, it's the third night. Uh, third night of PAX. Now it's officially over, and, uh, We'll just be heading on home here. Uh, actually, well, no, we got one more day to record what our next LP is going to be or try to record some of it. We actually have a couple of options open available to us, which is kind of cool. Well, okay, I'm back, guys. I, just, uh, I was going to take you outside for a while, but there's like, I went out there with my camera, and then this homeless guy comes up to me, and he's all like, You want to smoke some weed? And I'm like, What? So I kind of just walked back inside. Well, I mean, I walked in there for a while because I was playing along. Because I wasn't worried maybe he'd have a gun or a knife or something. I was kind of scared, so. So I said, okay. So I walked along with him for a little bit because I was like, oh, he's not going to rob me or something, is he? Anyway, I kind of wanted to, like, say uh, some thank yous to some people before, you know, now it's the third night and everything's over and all. So I guess first off, thanks to John and Emil for setting up the panel that we did today. Or yesterday, actually. It was... A huge, in my mind, it was a huge success. I mean, I know that, that John was a little, you know, down on himself because he had some glitches and stuff, but, oh, man, the way the audience reacted to that, I mean, we had them, like, on their toes all the time. It was, all, it was so much fun. It's, like, one of the greatest things I've ever been to. And I've been to a few panels, too, where people just stand up there and do, like, question and answer or whatever. And, like, I mean, even Ego Raptors panel was, which I'll, I'm not going to lie, it was terrific. But at the same time, I think what we did took a considerably larger amount of work, you know, whatever. And, like, I mean, I've been to other panels, like the Reddit panel. Like, I mean, I don't know, like, what the point of Reddit actually is, but, you know, I went to that one and it was, like, boring as all hell. So, you know, whatever. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, so by comparison, I think our panel was, like, one of the greatest ones. I mean, if I had been sitting in on it, it would have been one of the greatest things I'd ever seen. Uh, thanks to Atma01, who actually, I actually got to sit down with him a little bit, and he showed me a few tricks of the trade on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Well, he actually showed me on Melee, but a lot of the stuff he showed me there, you can also do it on Brawl. So, there's a lot of things I didn't know how to do, like how to do roll and dodge and stuff, and how to dodge, like, in midair. And, and he showed me some awesome stuff, so... So, I mean, I'm not saying that makes me a great player now or something, but uh, but on Melee, I was playing with Dr. Mario and consistently getting second place like, several times just behind him, who was, who, he's like a master of the game, like, I am, holy crap. We played about eight games, eight, ten games with him and me and, like, two other people, different four-player rounds, and, like, every single time he won. But I was always, like, in second, so I kind of felt like maybe, maybe I was learning something here, I don't know. So that's cool. So thanks to you. I'll never forget what you taught me. And I'll be practicing for next time that I get to maybe play and see if I can do something cool. And I hope these people in the halls don't hear these voices outside. You know, this guy out here talking outside my room. Anyway, thanks to all the fans that came to say hello and get autographs and stuff. It was just so cool. 
Uh, I kind of wished I'd made more time for Luca Jen and Josh Jepson and you know some of my friends that have been around since the beginning because really in many ways they've supported me through things that I couldn't even tell you about right now but you know so yeah but uh thanks to like all three of the Andrews that came uh, three different Andrews came and introduced themselves and they were all awesome so I wish I could remember everybody's name because you know it's like Paper Spyro he was there as usual he was also at MAGFest so he was hanging out and filming stuff and anyone who filmed the panel thank you also for posting that because I can't wait to see I can't wait to get back and watch all the YouTube videos I don't even know I was probably looking stupid my pants kept falling down I can't even these pants with these pants that I'm wearing right now I used to not be able to get into these and now they're falling down on my ass I'm sitting here like walking around my pants are falling down it's constantly pulling my pants up it's like I needed to get a belt or something because I didn't know they were going to be that loose because normally I don't really and I missed the Brendel Floss concert again I was I don't know when I'm ever going to make it to one of those. And, you, and, and of all the people I should be going to see, it should be him, because he actually knows who I am. Because he commented on my Castlevania song. I don't know, he's probably commented on a lot of things, though, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> so, ugh, it's getting hard holding this camera. So I'm probably going to get back to the room here real quick, but I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who came and everybody who wanted to come and couldn't make it. Well, I appreciate that you wanted to come. There will be a time eventually when we'll all get to come here and, you know, hang out with each other and just shoot the breeze and do whatever. There were so many people I can't even, Dark Minded Sith, you were here? Oh, I couldn't believe you were here. Like, I didn't know he was going to come until like the last couple of days, and he's awesome. Just a holy cow, you know. And he like, you know, I sit there and we sit there and talked about eye contact for a living, you know. And we were actually able to make it with each other, which is cool. Because both of us have trouble with that, you know, we explained it to each other. It's different when you can actually explain it to someone and not feel like they're putting the, you know, pressure on you to say, okay, I just want you to look at me, and say, no. you know, or try to put you, try to bring you out of it or something, try to save you. You know, it's it. when people look at you like that, like they're trying to save you, you know, it makes you feel inferior almost, I don't know. I don't mean for it to sound like that, but, you know, but it's hard for, you know, someone like me. It's like those things where they talk about it. the worst way, the, the worst advice that you can give to an introvert is to try to turn them into an extrovert. And I guess that's what I mean, you know, because he didn't make me feel like remotely like that. And I'm not saying that anyone else did or anything, no. Because, you know, people generally accepted me for who I am, and that's, that's why I love coming to these things, because I know when people meet me, they don't expect, you know, perfection or anything, because they know the stories that I've told in my videos, and that's why they've come to meet me, probably because they've had similar issues in their own lives, and just, you know, getting to be with them and see you know, that there are other people in the world who have faced similar, you know, things in their lives. It's kind of nice to not be so alone in that front and just to be able to do whatever, you know, hang out with those people and know that you're not alone. So, and you know that. That's what I always want to tell people. Anyway, okay, so I'm walking around the hall in these shoes. My feet probably smell like crap. i take a second shower when I am or something. Anyway, uh... Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't mention your name. I only mentioned like 10 names here, and there were at least probably, <laughs> I'd almost want to say there was over 100 people that came to see me and say, hey, so it's just hard to believe there'd be that many. It makes me wonder what PAX Prime's going to be like. Just holy crap. I guess I will be going to E3. I'm going to try to get in this time. But if I don't, it doesn't make a difference to me. It's, you know, it's just another video game convention, really. I mean, I guess you do get to see the future of video games, but I... If you watch my LPs, you know I'm stuck in the past. It's like, you know, I'm the Mega Man 2 guy. I'm not I'm not about like Street Fighter Cross Tekken or any of that. I don't how that sound is so weird. It's like when people call the boomerang in Castlevania a cross. It's like, I don't know. I mean, if you throw something and it comes back to you, to me, that's a boomerang. <laughs> but okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. You can probably try to look at my ugly mug and you see this beautiful hotel that we're getting to stay in here. Yeah, so we got one more day. I'd probably get in and get some sleep. But in the meanwhile, I just wanted to let you guys know where I stood and that everything's good here. And my battery is just about dead. I had to recharge it with my phone adapter. Thank goodness it's a compatible. I tell you, it's really weird. But, uh, yeah, there's just no way I could possibly thank you guys enough. And I know I said that a hundred times. If I could say it a hundred more and it still wouldn't be enough because this is just, you can't put a price on something like this. You know, this kind of life experience to come out here and you know, come together with people that you've... Hey guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and uh, 
coming down to the last day here, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make one last vlog for you. So uh, we're probably going to try to get some recording done before we leave. It's still pretty windy out here though. I don't know what's in there. Anyway, that's something kind of cool though, this alleyway down here. I never got a chance to show this to you. But I don't know what it is about this alley, but it's like fascinating because there's a road going through it and usually alleys don't have roads going through them, but yeah, I don't know. There's still like the staircase over here. I don't know. Is that somebody's lunch up there? I don't know. This is a good place to hide it if they wanted to do that. And then it like goes into this room in there or something. I, what the fuck? Is that what I think it is? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be filming this, but dear god. Oh my god. That has got to be the most wretched, disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? <laughs> Who did that? It had to be some homeless person or something. Oh my god. That is... That just ruins this whole... Uh, I was going to show you the alley, and now there's somebody taking a shit in it. That is disgusting, man. <laughs> you know, look, I mean, this looks like... I don't know, there's, like, windows here, but... It's just cool, because every time we walk by here, I look back here, like, thinking I'm going to see something. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy TV dreams. Anyway, oh, my God. I can't believe I just came across a piece of shit in the street. I wonder how long it's going to take for somebody to find that. That has got to be the craziest thing ever. I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah, that's the alley for you. That's what it looks like from the other end. That's why it looks so weird. Because it like turns and you think it's like... I don't know, that's a pretty tall building there. You see some windows are open. You see all the people have their windows open. That's cool. I'm like, sure nobody uh, tries to rob me out here. Like that guy last night that was asking me to smoke the weed. I'm like, what the, dude? Yeah. Where do you get off thinking? Yeah, whatever. It's just one of those things, I suppose. Well, we're coming back on the hotel here, so uh, I think I'm just gonna stop it there. But uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I know, I wasted my $250. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they brought that through. Well, at least they're like, I didn't. I, it, I guess. Uh, Will of DC is the only other person with a Vita that I've even seen in all my travels.